Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing the horror romantic film in Human Kiss. Spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. In a remote wilderness, deep within the dense forest, four adventurous youngsters are journeying toward an abandoned house as night steadily falls. They decide to indulge in a thrilling game of hide and seek. Sai, a confident girl among them, devises a plan to take her friend, Noi, inside the house to evade the seeker's detection. As they split up into various rooms, Sai stumbles upon a peculiar box resting on the floor, its lid left unlocked. Cautiously, she inches closer to the container, peering inside, only to find an array of cobwebs and dust. Feeling secure, Sai lets her guard down, unaware of a headless figure silently creeping up behind her, its appendages reaching out to seize her. Many years later, Sai has blossomed into a stunning woman. She gracefully applies lipstick to her lips before stepping out for the day. The girl encounters her grown-up friend, Jerd, who intentionally flaunts his well-built physique before covering up again. It's evident he has feelings for Sai, as he does everything to catch her attention, hoping not to be relegated to just friends. Together, they go to the nearby hospital where she works as a nurse, but they discover that all her colleagues, including the doctor, are absent due to the ongoing war. Their conversation is interrupted by a visiting family who brought their son for treatment after he suffered a minor knee injury. The mother informs them about a creature called Kraje, a demon with a flying head, that has been harming their livestock at night. She advises them to take precautions by securing the windows and doors before sleeping. However, Sai finds it challenging to concentrate on their conversation as she is preoccupied with the boy's injuries. Later that night, following the advice given to her at the hospital, Sai locks her windows to safeguard against the Kraje. As she drifts off to sleep, she begins to dream, but her dreams are filled with enigmatic visions of an abandoned house and a mysterious box inside. Suddenly, Sai wakes up startled, feeling unrested after the vivid dream. To her surprise, she finds her room in disarray, and the window that she had locked is now open. Sai starts to experience an unusual pain in her chest, and when she checks, she discovers a red scar beneath her clothes. Concerned and frightened, Sai asks Jerd to join her as they head into the forest, following the path from her dream that led to the abandoned house. As they make their way through the woods, darkness descends rapidly, causing Jerd to worry about their safety as they venture deeper. Suddenly, they hear a distant footsteps and quickly hide. To their relief, it turns out to be their childhood friend, Noi, who had left the village long ago. Excited to see their old friend, Sai rushes to greet Noi, and in the moment of reunion, she warmly embraces him, unaware of Jerd's inner turmoil as he witnesses this embrace, feeling caught in a love triangle. Their joyous reunion is abruptly interrupted by the arrival of a group of armed men led by Tad, whose demeanor doesn't give off a humanitarian vibe. The group claims to be Kraje hunters from a neighboring town, presenting cages filled with heads as proof of their activities. Tad proceeds to explain the dangerous nature of the Kraje, describing how they come out at night to devour livestock and eventually pose a threat to the villagers themselves. He warns that the creatures can rapidly multiply by infecting other women with their saliva, turning them into Krasus as well. Though the villagers, including Sai's father who is the village leader, find it hard to believe the hunters' claims, the group requests to stay until they can rid the village of this menace and ensure the safety of the people. With the heavily armed men now staying in the village, the village leader reluctantly agrees to their presence for the safety of the villagers. The following morning, Sai wakes up in a state of shock, still plagued by disturbing visions. She vomits blood onto the floor, and to her horror, she finds the window open again with even more blood on her bed. As she checks her chest, she discovers that the red scars have grown significantly, confirming her fears that she has indeed turned into a Kraje. To make matters worse, Sai learns that Jerd has made the decision to join the hunting party, along with many other villagers. Despite Noi's attempts to persuade Jerd to leave the dangerous and violent hunters, Jerd remains firm in his belief that joining them is the only way to protect Sai and their fellow villagers. As night falls, the hunters begin their patrol of the village, searching for the elusive demon. In the darkness, Sai once again feels the ominous transformation taking place. Her veins turn crimson as blood accumulates around her neck, and horrifyingly, her head detaches from her body, transforming her into a terrifying creature. In the dead of night, a neighbor awakens to find her baby missing from the carriage, and her cries of anguish alert the villagers. The husband rushes to seek aid from the demon hunters, and the panicked villagers return to the village, only to bear witness to the sight of a luminous demon soaring across the darkened sky. Had frantically shoots at the flying head, focused solely on killing the Kraje, seemingly unconcerned about the safety of the baby. After firing multiple shots, the demon appears to vanish from the scene, and thankfully, they find the woman's infant unharmed on the ground. Meanwhile, Noi spots the Kraje flying in the night sky and starts pursuing the creature, eventually arriving at Sai's house. Fearing for her well-being, Noi climbs onto the building, heading towards her window. To his shock, 
he discovers that the detached head actually belongs to Sai as she reattaches herself to her body. Sai regains consciousness, only to realize that her transformation was witnessed by the man she loves, causing Noi to lose his balance and fall from the ladder. The girl is overwhelmed with grief as she worries that her love might never accept her after learning her demonic secret. Noi seeks guidance from the knowledgeable village monk, who reveals that demons, like the Kraje, exist in both genders, with male demons known as Krahangs. The monk shares that these creatures were once ordinary people who turned into monsters due to their experiments with black magic. The monk recognizes the importance of the Kraje to Noi and advises him to follow his heart and make the right decisions. Shortly after their conversation, Sai begins to transform again, but Noi decides to help his friend after hearing the monk's wisdom. He brings numerous chickens to satisfy her hunger without harming anyone. The following day, Sai seeks out Noi and tearfully embraces him, expressing gratitude for his support and acceptance despite knowing her true identity. Their relationship grows closer, and they find themselves falling in love. Noi continues to provide food for Sai at night, keeping her safe from the hunters, and for over a month, the Kraje remains unseen. The monk shares crucial information with Noi about a plant that can temporarily prevent a Kraje's transformation, although he has no personal experience with it. One day, while tending to a young girl in the hospital, Sai sips a cup of tea and places it on a nearby table. Her work is interrupted by a call from Jurd, who warns her about an impending full-scale hunt for the Kraje that night. Unbeknownst to Sai and Jurd, the girl Sai is attending to glances at the cup of tea with sinister intentions. The infection takes hold swiftly, and the girl starts transforming on the same day, right in front of her horrified parents. The hunters arrive at the scene promptly and discover the headless body on the floor, while the Kraje hides beneath the table. Despite attempting to physically remove the creature and failing, Tad orders his men to mercilessly shoot the demon. The hunters fire numerous rounds at the table, tragically resulting in the death of the innocent girl. The family's cries of agony echo through the hospital as they witness the tragic death of their beloved daughter. While, the demon hunter tears out the creature's heart, laughing maniacally. Sai becomes a subject of suspicion among her friends as she was the only nurse present during the unfortunate incident. The hunter begins to question whether she is the original Kraje, causing immense distress for Sai. Overwhelmed with guilt about the girl's death and fearing for her own life, Sai is fraught with despair. Noi tries to comfort her, offering a glimmer of hope. He shares his discovery of plants near the abandoned house that could potentially halt her transformation temporarily. Determined to find a solution, they venture into the forest, reaching the haunting structure that stirs unpleasant memories from the past. In the backyard, Sai and Noi come across numerous glowing plants on the floor. Sai is unsure at first but eventually consumes one, finding immediate relief. Noi swiftly gathers more of these plants while Sai smiles at him. Realizing the depth of Noi's care for her, they share a heartfelt kiss, relieved to have found a solution. However, their moment is disrupted by the arrival of the demon hunters, including their friend Jurd, who had followed them. Witnessing Sai kissing Noi, Jurd becomes enraged and violently attacks him. As the chaos ensues, Sai flees from her pursuers, seeking refuge in the abandoned house. Sai enters the room and is immediately drawn to the glowing red box, its magnetic pull irresistible. Memories flood back to her of the night many years ago when the Kraje approached from back and kissed her gently, causing a transfer of memories. Now possessed by the past Kraje, Sai's demeanor changes dramatically, and she begins to mercilessly attack and kill her pursuers one by one. Cad, witnessing the horrifying transformation, fires relentlessly at the demon, while Jurd attempts to intervene and stop him, granting Sai a fleeting chance to escape. In a fit of rage, Tad, overcome with fury at Sai's escape, throws Jurd off the building in his anger. After regaining control of her body, Sai seizes the chance to sneak back into the village alongside Noi. Hurrying home, she secures the medicine in a safe location. Meanwhile, news of a dreadful event from the previous night spreads, and the village leader is informed of the grim situation. Astonishingly, all the demon hunters fell victim to the Kraje's wrath, except for their leader, who managed to survive the attack. Alongside him, Jurd is brought back to the village. The hunter recounts the terrifying encounter with the demon and blames the village leader's daughter for the killings. He persuades the villagers to start a witch hunt for Sai, while her father desperately tries to intervene. Fortunately, Sai consumes the herbs, retaining her human form, and stands before the people as an ordinary girl. Seizing the moment, she turns the tables and accuses the hunter of trying to assault her in the forest. Pad denies her claims, prompting Jurd to reveal the truth about the night's events. Struggling with his feelings, Jurd decides to protect the woman he loves by confirming her story with a lie. In response, the hunter takes the village leader hostage, intimidating the crowd to back off. He fires his gun, seizing the opportunity to escape. Afterward, the village leader orders everyone to disperse and return home. While, Sai, burdened with guilt over the lies she told, looks at Jurd remorsefully. He heads home, feeling emotionally and physically drained from the ordeal. But as he walks, 
he suddenly senses a presence behind him. It turns out to be the hunter, who advances menacingly and reveals horrifying fangs before sinking them into Jurg with a vicious bite. While Sai manages to halt her transformation by consuming the medicine, their stock dwindles each passing day. Noi attempts to resolve this predicament by cultivating the herbs, yet his endeavors prove futile as the plants wither away before bearing any fruit. In his search for an alternative medicine, Noi ventures to the area behind the forsaken house, only to discover that the demon hunter, set on exterminating the Kraje, has incinerated all of it to ashes. Left with no other option, Noi informs his girlfriend that they must depart from this village and devises a plan to escape together the following evening after sunset. Coming to the realization that she must leave everyone behind, the girl decides to pay her friend Jurd one last visit. She enters his room and finds him trembling in fear, huddled under a blanket. Despite his fear, she attempts to comfort him. Jurd, however, admits that he knew she was a Kraje from the very beginning, having witnessed her consuming livestock on the very first day. He reveals that his decision to join the hunters was driven by the intention to mislead them and safeguard Sai from the impending hunt. Every time he sees the girl with Noi, Jurd experiences immense pain, yet he continues to protect her from the shadows. Jurd discloses that he, too, is undergoing a dreadful transformation after being bitten by the demon hunter, who is unmistakably a Krahang, the male counterpart of a Kraje. He pleads with Sai not to abandon him, now that he has become a terrifying monster shunned by everyone. Meanwhile, the following day, Noi makes a final visit to the monk, seeking further information about the legend of the Kraje. The monk informs Noi that the first Kraje was the wife of the initial Krahang. Her infidelity led to her demise when the Krahang tore her heart out. Since then, every Krahang is destined to hunt and kill every Kraje. As the sun sets, Sai prepares to leave home, but her father stops her and takes her to the public theater to prove she's not a demon. Noi reaches their designated meeting spot only to find the girl missing, instantly sensing that something is terribly wrong. Unfortunately, Sai's supply of medicine has run out, and she begins transforming in front of the terrified public, her head detaching from her body, causing panic and screams to echo all around. Meanwhile, Jurd, overwhelmed by hopelessness as he realizes Sai won't fulfill her promise, undergoes a furious transformation, turning into a vampire-like creature similar to the hunter. Accompanied by Tad, he rushes to the public theater where the people are hunting the Kraje. With a surge of anger, Jurd snatches the girl's head from the air and looks ready to strike her down, but just in the nick of time, Noi arrives to intervene, stepping in to halt his friend's deadly intentions. After regaining his humanity upon seeing the girl he once cared for, Jurd charges towards the man truly responsible for the chaos, and a furious aerial battle ensues. Jurd manages to knock the hunter downward, and they both plummet towards the ground. As the intense fight continues, Tad gains the upper hand swiftly, overpowering Jurd and pinning him to the ground. The hunter strikes Jurd's chest, pulling out his heart, causing Jurd's life to slip away. Now turning his attention to the Kraje, the hunter focuses on Sai, who is being protected by Noi as they attempt to escape. Sai, determined to shield her boyfriend, engages the demon, taking the fight into the skies. However, a sudden gunshot pierces through the air, striking the vampire's heart and putting an end to the monstrous creature in mid-air. Unbeknownst to them, the monk secretly follows the couple, and to their surprise, he confesses to being the husband of the Kraje who infected Sai. Filled with remorse, he now seeks to rectify his past mistakes. Urging Noi to flee with the girl, he points them towards a waiting boat by the water. With determination, Noi carries Sai's lifeless body to the boat while the villagers pursue them, driven by the intent to eliminate the perceived monster. However, upon reaching the boat, Noi realizes that Sai is not accompanying him. Upon seeing the extent of her injuries from the brutal villagers' attack, the girl realizes there's little hope of survival. Embracing her beloved for the final time, tears stream down their faces as they come to terms with their inevitable separation. With a heavy heart, Sai cuts the boat's ropes, urging her boyfriend to leave and save himself. As they share a tearful gaze, they communicate their love through their eyes. In a sudden, heart-wrenching moment, a villager fires a gunshot, fatally striking the girl in the head. Noi rushes to her side, crying out in agony, as he witnesses the only person who truly matters to him being cruelly taken away forever. Thank you for watching our recap. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and feel free to explore our other recaps.